spiritual sequel to the magnificent and imperious Demon Souls, Dark Souls is a brutal third-person action RPG set in a world full of monstrous things that are trying their hardest to end your life as quickly as possible. Using whatever weapons and armors you can scavenge, buy or forge, the challenge is to inch your way through this damned and deadly place, now and then coming across gigantic bosses that take a special tenacity to kill. You will die, constantly and without respite. Dark Souls can be punishing, cruel, sadistic and uncompromising. It can also give you the purest, most thrilling adrenaline rush in gaming, and once you're hooked, it's amongst the deepest, most rewarding experiences that modern games can offer. Death is everything in Dark Souls. It's progress, it's education, and it's the stylistic motif that runs through its monstrous creatures and bleak, pestilent places. It's an astonishingly crafted game, painstakingly constructed, and beautiful even in its desolation. You slowly inch your way through one huge, continuous world, from menacing forests through creepy medieval castles to caverns deep within the earth. The further you get in Dark Souls, the more hideous and creative the monsters and environments become. 30 hours in, stuck in an underground poisonous swamp, you'll feel like you'd give anything just to see the sun again. Dark Souls' design is so consistently dark and twisted that it actually starts to encroach upon your mental well-being after extended play. There are no quests and no story to guide you along. The open world structure is the biggest change from Demon's Souls. Instead of travelling to distant worlds through a central hub, like the Nexus, there are bonfires placed strategically throughout the world. Bonfires are your checkpoints, a place where you can rest, level up, manage your spells, and meditate upon your doomed existence. When you rest at a bonfire, you replenish your health flasks. Unfortunately, you also respawn all the enemies in an area, except for bosses. Choosing when and where to rest, then, becomes part of your strategy. The combat system is unique in this genre, dependent on your equipment more than your stats. The closest comparison is something like Monster Hunter. You can be a nimble thief or hunter with a bow and a dagger, you can be a pyromancer with flaming hands, or you can be an armoured tank with a double-handed greatsword, and you can switch between these vastly different playstyles just by changing your equipment. The sheer variety and creative maliciousness of Dark Souls' enemies, especially the bosses, means that you'll constantly be experimenting with different strategies and weapons, meaning the combat never, ever gets stale. There have been changes to the magic system that prevent you from being able to rely on it as an easy way out, forcing you to get familiar with the thrilling up-close melee fighting. The high difficulty is an integral part of Dark Souls, the key to its ethos, and it shouldn't be considered a fault. However, there are a very few occasions where the game crosses the line from thrillingly challenging to purely sadistic. However, you won't be alone. Dark Souls' online functionality is its most nuanced and forward-thinking feature. Players can help each other out, writing messages on the game world floor, or offering up support as a phantom to join other players' worlds and help them take down a boss. Doing this gains you rewards that make your own life just that little bit easier. You can also invade other players' games to assassinate them for their souls or their humanity, but this now comes with much harsher potential punishments than existed in Demon's Souls. The emphasis is very firmly upon helping rather than hurting other players. After all, we're all in this together. One day an undead shall be chosen. If you take the time to get under Dark Souls' skin and understand its twisted mindset, what you'll find is one of the most absorbing, deepest hardcore gaming experiences in existence. But it's also brutally unforgiving and inaccessible, especially at first. If you just play games to be entertained, then Dark Souls isn't for you. But if you're at all interested in just how far a video game can go, how singular and focused it can be in its vision, Dark Souls is unmissable. For more on Dark Souls, stay on IGN.com.